The more we explore, the more valuable the diversity of life appears. Cedar Creek is this wonderful playhouse where it contains hundreds of species of plants, several thousand species of insects, all interacting. Uh, I call it my million piece puzzle. And uh, I got into science because I never wanted to be bored. And I think it'd be very hard to be bored if you're trying to put together this million piece puzzle we call nature. At Cedar Creek, David Tillman stumbled upon an amazing piece of nature's puzzle, hidden in a field of wildflowers. In pastures like this, he cut out more than 200 plots. Of all the plots, there are only two kinds. The first have many species. They are biologically rich. The second type of plot has few species. They are biologically poor. Tillman was studying these two types of communities when something unexpected happened. As we were doing our work, a very bad drought occurred. It was the worst drought of the last 50 years and the third worst drought in the recorded history of Minnesota. The drought that hit this region in 1987 was devastating. Farmers raced to save their crops, but they withered just the same. Grasses burned. Young trees died under the hot sun. But back at Cedar Creek, something remarkable was happening. The plots with more diversity were surviving better than the plots with less. This was groundbreaking news. Plots with more biodiversity, with more species, were stronger. One way to think about this would be to think about an ecosystem as being like a, a small town. In a town, there are people of different roles, different functions. There are doctors, nurses, grocers, plumbers. All these people contribute to the functioning of that town, that community. An ecosystem has different species. Each species has its own role. When one of these species is lost, and it's like losing a doctor or a dentist or the electrician in your town, that town doesn't function very well. The same thing happens to ecosystems. And the more species that, that are lost from an ecosystem, the more its functioning is degraded. Biodiversity is really nature's insurance policy against catastrophe. The message of Tillman's work is simple but profound. Diversity, the variety of life, contributes to the health of an ecosystem. Tillman is continuing to plant fields of wildflowers and wild grasses. There's still many things he wants to learn about the members of these communities. Many things to be discovered in pastures of weeds. We should bear in mind that the rest of life was the cradle in which the human species evolved. And all those millions of other species that surround us run the world the way we would wish it to run. They create an atmosphere, a soil, a total environment around us 
to which our genes, our biology, are beautifully adapted. It is very much to our advantage to maintain it.